Alright, welcome to the special right triangles lesson. In this lesson we're going to be going over how to solve for the 45, 45, 90 triangle. And before we get into that, you know, before we try and solve the sides, we got to figure out, come test day, how do I know I have a 45, 45, 90? So the test maker can, can give you these triangles in a number of different ways. So the most obvious way would be, and this is kind of example number one, I might just tell you all three sides. This is 90, this is 45, this is 45. Simple enough, right? Well, a little less apparent. What if they just gave you one of those angles? And if they give you one of them, they tell you that's 45 and this is 90. By default, this has to be 45. Okay. What if they told you that's 90 and they told you that side is equal to that side? Well, if you watched my triangle fundamentals lesson, you would know when we have equal sides, their opposite angles are also equal, right? So, when that's 90 and these two are equal, they have to be 45 degree angles. All I'm doing here is I'm trying to show you different ways that uh, the test maker can show you a 45, 45, 90, okay? Even less apparent, let's say you had a square. If you draw a diagonal and you bisect that square, you split it in half, you get two 45, 45, 90 triangles. And why does that happen? Because that diagonal splits these two 90 degree angles in half. So just know when you have a diagonal in a square, and it's got to be a square, you get two 45, 45, 90 triangles. Uh, probably the least obvious uh, case is when you have a circle here. What if I made this shape in the circle? I go from here to there, and I go from there to there, and I tell you that's 90 degrees, and then I connect those two endpoints to make a triangle. Well, can you tell me why is that a 45, 45, 90? Well, we learned before, well, one thing to remember, all radii in a circle are equal. And from here to here, and from here to here are radii. They extend from the center. So that line has to equal that line. Okay, so when two sides of a triangle are equal, you know that two angles are, their opposite angles are going to be equal. Okay, so by default, that has to be 45 degrees, and that has to be 45 degrees. Alright, so this was just a couple of different scenarios where, you know, on the SAT, let me go back, it'd be really nice if they gave you this situation every single time, right? But it's not always going to happen like that. So you just want to be aware of different ways they can throw the 45, 45, 90 at you. Okay, let's do an example and see if you know the ratio of the sides. So we've got our triangle here. We know it's a 45, 45, 90, and I tell you this side is 4. How do I find out the other sides? Actually, I'm asking you, what is the perimeter of the triangle? So what you're going to do come test day, and if you get anything out of this lesson, this is the main thing you want to get out of it. On your paper, you're going to write 45, 45, 90. Under it, x, x, x radical 2. So now you're just plugging in. What's opposite 45 degrees? The 4. So we're going to write that over there. That means that x is equal to 4. So if x is 4, that's 4, and this will be 4 radical 2. I'm just plugging in. So I can put my sides in now. Opposite 45 is 4. Opposite the 90 is 4 radical 2. What's my perimeter? 4 plus 4, that's 8, plus 4 radical 2. Nothing much we can do more with that. That expression is in simplest form, so you just leave it like that. You're fine, okay? So that's kind of an easy one. The main thing I want to want to reiterate with you guys, or hopefully drive home, you got to have this memorized. If you want to get these 45, 45, 90 triangle, uh, these questions right, you got to have that ratio memorized, okay? You don't want to be flipping back to the beginning of the section on test day. Let's do a harder one. Okay. So now I've got another 45, 45, 90, and I'm telling you that the length of the hypotenuse is 6, okay? So what's the question? What is the area of the triangle? So we have to find the base and the height. Well, again, come test day, you're going to write down 
45, 45, 90. What do you write under? x, x, x radical 2. So now let's plug in. What do we know? Opposite 90 is 6. So let's put that there. Now, am I saying that x equals 6? No, don't make that mistake. I'm saying that x radical 2 equals 6. So we have to solve for x. So we can write a little equation here. x radical 2 equals 6. Divide both sides by radical 2. That crosses out and we get x equals 6 over radical 2. We can never leave radical 2 in the denominator. We want to rationalize. So that's going to be radical 2 over radical 2. We multiply across. We get x equals 6 radical 2 over 2. Right, we're just multiplying across. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we get x equals 3 radical 2. Okay, so now that we have x, we can plug that back in. So that's going to be 3 radical 2, and that's going to be 3 radical 2. So that's telling me my sides opposite the 45 are 3 radical 2. Let's write that in. Okay, now that I have that written in, I have to find the area. And I can do that now because I have the base and I have the height. So let me, I'm getting a little cramped here, but let me make some room. I'll just make a little area here. So what is the area of a triangle? One half base times height, right? Let's plug in our base and our height. That's going to be one half three rad two times three rad two. Sorry, it's getting a little crammed here. So how do I multiply numbers with radicals? Multiply what's in the front first. Three times three. That's nine. Radical two times radical two. You get two back. And that's all half of that. One half times nine times two. Nine times two is 18 divided by two is nine. Okay, so that's your area, uh, nine. But really, to get a question like this correct, you have to have this memorized, okay? And again, don't make the mistake. If you get a value for your hypotenuse and you, put, and you plug it in there, we're not saying x equals six, we're saying the whole thing equals six. That's why I set up, that's why I set up that equation right there. All right, so you have, I did two examples with you on how to solve for 45, 45, 90s. You can check out my lesson on the 30, 60, 90s if you have problems with those. But again, it's going to be all about memorizing the ratio of the sides. I'll see you there.